Hello, this is Wayne S. Pierce for the 23rd of April, 2017. This is American Liberty Radio Network, AmericanLibertyRadio.com. This is a little brief podcast I want to put together for tonight, May 1st. Uh, at uh, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern, The Truth Experience. So check it out. I'm going to be talking a lot about a lot of things, including Trump, including the blackout here we had over this past weekend in New York and L.A. and Chicago, and what the correlation is uh, with, uh, well, either the Russians or aliens, take your pick, also, I'm going to talk about the Bilderberg Group meeting in Dresden, Germany this year. So we got that coming up on the Truth Experience, May 1st at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. Right now, I want to talk about uh, just some stuff I've observed, and I want to make you aware of it. Um, the Democrats are still the Democrats ever since their inception uh, and creation way back when this country became a country. The Democrats are nothing more, they will tell you they're liberals, but they really aren't. What they are is communists, period, end of sentence, done. Oh, Republicans, you thought I left you out too? No. Uh, Your conservatism, your conservative ideals are nothing more than disguising the real philosophies that you hold under fascism. So, in my perspective, from my perspective and my point of view is, we don't need political parties, okay? Only because of the fact that we don't need to divide this country, and that's exactly what political parties do, divide the country, period. There's there's no way of getting around that. They divide people, they divide ideologies, they divide, and not equally either, but they both have their hand in developing ways to suppress the freedoms and the peace and the liberty this nation has and the citizens have, but come June, and I'll talk more about this on the uh, Truth Experience, Monday night at 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern, at thetruthexperience.weebly.com thetruthexperience.weebly.com I'll talk about the Bilderberg Group who is going to literally and has since ni- since 1954 I believe it was in uh, a ho- Bilderberg Hotel in Switzerland the Bilderberg Group are going to dictate to the leaders uh, such as uh, well Marine Le Pen in France, Donald Trump in America, looking at the Rome president, prime minister. The Bilderberg Group's going to tell everybody what to do, when to do it, why to do it, and how to do it. And guess what? They're going to have to follow the game plan. And if not, well, things like Libya happen. Things like uh, Iraq happen. Uh, Things like uh, the... Oh, what do they got? Arab Spring happened. Uh, If you don't fall in line with the globalists of the Bilderberg Group, you're pretty much toast. But I'll talk more about that on Monday, May 1st, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern, on The Truth Experience, thetruthexperience.weebly.com. A lot of things going on, a lot of things happening, a lot of things developing over the past several uh, days and weeks. But briefly, I want to say this. When you talk to someone, do you get the feeling they're not listening to you, even though they look at you and go, "Uh uh-huh, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. Uh, They acknowledge that your mouth is moving and sound is coming out, but they're not hearing you, listening to you. Well, I know that most people, I know that most people listen to what I say, 
and at least investigate and research it. I just looked at my statistics here on Spreaker.com, and guess what? I'm getting people listening to me in Bangladesh. So, hello, Bangladesh. How are you? Um, People need to literally stand on what they believe and put their feet down when they have to, when it's appropriate, to tell people this is the truth and this is the facts and if they don't get it and you tell them several times and they still don't get it just move on just go talk to somebody else go deal with somebody else go 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 just leave them be they're never going to get it and you'll have those people you do that with and they're going to turn to you and say God, i want evidence I want evidence. They're going to say, give me evidence. I want evidence that you're right. I want evidence. There's not, you can give them as much as you have and even more, and they're still not going to believe you. Okay. Now, is that a preconceived idea? Is that one of those things that I talk about a lot that a lot of people have that, uh, you know, put them into the category of denying the truth and the facts? Probably, but moreover, Uh, In the last 30 some odd years, I've seen people not only deny the facts and the truth, but literally start making excuses for their own ignorance of the truth and the facts, saying, well, you're one of those conspiracy theorists, so that's your truth, that's your facts. No, I've seen it all, I have heard it all, I think. I don't know. There might be stuff out there that I haven't heard before. There might be things out there I haven't seen before. And just because I overlook something doesn't necessarily mean I'm wrong. It just means I overlook something. So one last thing before I get out of here, I just wanted to make this a short uh, little podcast message to people. And that is, one last thing is, if we know what is happening, if, if we see it right out in front of our faces, if we know that this is what it is, and there is no doubt in our minds that it is something that is suppressing our freedoms uh, in, in terms of in regards to Facebook censoring certain posts, deleting certain accounts, uh, Google and YouTube uh, deleting accounts, uh, uh, censoring those accounts. If, if you see this, chances are it's happening and your excuses aren't going to make it go away. So as far as I'm concerned, your poor lame ass excuses for because you're ignorant of the obvious is not going to fly with me not going to fly with anybody so when you look at everything around you examine it for number one what you see it as and number two investigate and research in other words ask questions don't believe everything you see in here hell don't even believe everything I tell you go out and do the research on your own Take that time to go do this because, hey, you're going to know. And the answers are going to be for you. I can give you the answers, but they're my answers. There's what The answers for me are what I have found for myself. You need to go out and look it up yourself. So on that note, it is one of those things where, uh, to me, from my perspective, uh, people just cannot get over the fact that things are the way they are and they'll make excuses and and say stuff like well I don't want it ruining my day well whatever's happening behind your back whatever they're doing behind your back is going to ruin your day so stop it stop being ignorant of the obvious and start looking at the things that are there and examining those things for what they are and then of course you're going to have questions dig a little deeper you'll get the answer for you you know folks i'm going to get out of here a little mini podcast for you little message a little something of of my show the truth experience coming up monday may 1st at 7 p.m pacific 10 p.m eastern that's the truth experience 7 p.m pacific 10 p.m eastern at the truth experience dot weebly dot com the truth experience dot weebly dot com and of course this is american liberty radio network american liberty radio dot com sharing the truth one fact at a time without all the bs <laughs>